course from there. But this is just one example. There's many reasons why people get lifted up in themselves. Think about how many people might have been blessed with some talent of God, whether it be through musical ability or just some other talent that you have, and people like that, and then they want to see or hear or you know, see you do what you're doing, and you start to think, wow, look at all these people. It turns into worship. And then it just feeds off itself and people get more and more full of pride. You look at the rock stars. The reason why they get full of pride, one of the reasons is because, you know, maybe they start off just doing something they like. They just play, you know, they love worldly music. They like playing their music, whatever. But then they start playing their music and they get up on a stage. Right? And now, physically, they're lifted up already because they're on a stage. And they start seeing all these people all focused on them. And they're, you know, and you know what? It's not as much about the music anymore as they like seeing all these crowds of people. Oh, putting their hands up and yeah, you know, it becomes very powerful. And look, I've been to plenty of rock concerts and concerts in my life and they start doing things and they'll get crowds going and, and, they wield a lot of power. And I mean, you see people wearing t-shirts with like your face on it, walking around and they're all buying your stuff and, and that lifts people up. It lifts them up really high. And don't think that it's just the rock stars that are standing up on platforms that love the crowds coming and gathering around and talking about how great they are. Pride is the number one attribute of the Pharisee also. That love to wear the long garments. And they love the greetings and the salutations in the uppermost rooms at feasts. They loved being exalted by men. They were very proud. And I'll tell you what, we're speaking of a lot of different examples of unsaved people or reprobates or whatever. Believers need to watch out for this too. Even good men of God need to watch out for this. Watch out for the fame that could go around just because someone, hey, you could start off really good and you've got a solid message and you're true to everything. Everybody needs to watch out. Take heed lest you fall. The best, most greatest man of God needs to watch out for this and probably watch out for it even more. The more popularity there is, the more there's things going on around you. You need to watch out for that. And thank God, I don't think anyone that I know has succumbed to, to having you know, a big head or a proud heart. But it is definitely a concern. It just needs to be watched out for. It is it, because what's going to end up happening is people get destroyed. There have been plenty of men of God in the past who have let themselves get lifted up in pride. And what happens? They end up thinking they're entitled to more than they really are. And what you'll end up finding is they end up sinning either by stealing. And it's always going to have something to do with some type of covetousness, right? Right. Because the pride lifts you up into thinking that you can have things that you really can't have. So they're going to end up uncovering something. Either you're stealing or you're having some type of, of, of relationship with someone you ought not to have a relationship with. Those are the types of things you're going to find when people get lifted up in this, in this type of an area. Especially among you know, saved people. That's what's going to happen. And you know what happens? Destruction. Church, entire churches get destroyed. Entire great soul winning, people doing great work for God, get destroyed. Because Satan likes to feed the pride of man. And if you're not careful and not watching out for it, it will destroy. 